in a game of missed scoring opportunities and two quick second half goals by MSU. The number 13th ranked Hoosiers were feeling some unexpected pressure in the second half where the score remained tied at two goals apiece at the end of regulation play. After two hard fought 10 minute overtime periods, the final score of the game remained tied at two to two. I like where this team is. Certainly, you know, we walk away with a very disappointing draw and on the, on the big picture, we're creating a lot of chances and we're eliminating, for the most part, quality chances to want to play. So clearly it's restarts and, um, and some focus moments. So the big picture, uh, this, is a, this, is, this group has some potential to continue to, to make this year very positive. And uh, you know, some Michigan State's been really good with the result, but clearly today we would put up to get that result. Coach has said that there's no stat for uh, who played better. It's all about the, the results. So um, we need to we need we need to learn from this game. Obviously, with our restarts and everything, that um, we need to stay concentrated um, on all the defensive restarts. And obviously, whenever we have chances going forward, um, we need to bury them. Um, really put teams away rather than let them hang around. We need to be um, more dominant in our in our approach when things aren't going well. We've addressed this a lot, and our communication needs to. Be be heightened and we also need to be even more focused on certain situations and that's where we'll, we'll continue to grow because we, we've learned some lessons and hopefully we'll, we'll make sure that it's better down the line. When we get the two goal lead we know that um, obviously if they score one um, it could be a good goal it could be a bad goal that we're still the lead we got to get rid of that mentality that um, when we get two we need to keep looking for the third go for the fourth and just really put teams away um, especially like you said this being the second time it's happened this season um, we really need to learn from it and that no matter what, even if we score two or three goals, we just got to keep going um, like it's a zero-zero game or like we're losing. Like, just keep pushing forward and not let them get anything. The Hoosiers continue their Big Ten play against Northwestern on October 30th. From Bill Armstrong Stadium, I'm Kathy Raleigh, Hoosier Sports Night.